I want to show you how you can modify your objects, shapes, and pictures. And in this example, we'll be working on this picture. But what you do here will be the exact same steps when it comes to working with other objects or shapes. And the first thing I want to go over is how to replace this picture or to swap it out without inserting a picture and then moving it right here and then trying to delete the one behind it so you can get it in the exact same position. Instead, just go ahead and right click on the picture, okay, without moving your mouse. So hold the mouse still and right click and then you get a different shortcut menu. Then go ahead and go up to change picture and you can change it out from a file on your computer, another picture, or from online. Let's do online. Click on it and let's do something fun and hit enter and then make sure you understand the Creative Commons licenses so you use these pictures appropriately or as they're meant to be used. And hey, these guys look like they're having fun. Let's check that. Click on insert and there you go. Now notice how it came in more horizontally. It's not as wide. And the reason why is that because it would stretch it and not look proportionally correct, more distorted. And so it's in the same place. It just kept it in proportion. Let's go ahead and hit undo because I like these guys. They look like they're having a lot of intense fun. We'll keep them here. Next, I want to show you is how to crop the picture or cut out the extra space that you don't want to see or need. Like maybe the extra space over to the left hand side of his elbow, below here, maybe to the right side of his head. So to crop, you can just go ahead and select the picture, come up here and click on the format tab, go to the size group, and click on crop. Well, you also have it in a right click, and there's crop there as well. So either way, come up here, click on crop, and you get the black crop handles that when you click and pull one of them in, everything on the outside after you're done is going to be cut. So cutting room floor is where it's going to go. Click and drag those crop handles in. And then when we're done, go ahead and click on the crop button and it's cut out. And if you're like, oopsie doodle, didn't mean to do that, and you don't have the undo button available, well, just come back up here and click on crop and hey, it's still there. That image on the outside of it. So just go ahead and grab those crop handles and pull it back out to reveal more of your image to not cut it out. And when you're done, go ahead and click on crop. Okay, next let's go over size and rotation. First of all, rotation, and you can go ahead and do it one of many ways. Hover over the rotation handle until you can see a black arrow turning in on itself. You probably can't see it, but go ahead and try it on your computer there. And click and hold down the left mouse button, and then you can see that the black arrow turning in on itself is now four arrows, four black arrows turning in on themselves that you can go ahead and tilt left, right, and whoa, we're in an intense game. Look out, gunner, gunner, gunner. Or if you hold down the shift key and you tilt left, it goes in 15 degree increments, it looks like. And so we'll get it back to being flat again. Let go of the mouse and then the shift key. You can rotate it that way or you can come up here on the related contextual format tab and go to the rotate objects. Click on the drop down arrow and you can flip it around. Well, that's rotating it. This is flipping vertically, horizontally. So now dad's on the left hand side as opposed to the right. Then he's going left. And he's going right. Whoa, man, this game's wild. Or you can go to more rotation options, click on that. And whenever you see more, it just means that it's going to open up the task pane and give you more options. And it's right there amidst other things that we'll go over in just a minute. Rotation, if you want to do it numerically, like, hey, let's rotate it by 10 degrees. When it's positive, it goes right. When it's negative, it goes left. So add a negative and it flips it the other way. You can also use the spin dials. And I'll put it back to, or just type in zero and hit enter. And then next, how about sizing it? Now you can do it freehand by hovering over one of these resizing handles here. So if I go in the upper right hand corner and until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions and click and drag to push it in and pull it out, that looks good. You can do it that way or if you want to do it up here on the format tab in the size group, you can do it numerically, use the spin dials. And when you do that, it keeps it in proportion, so when it adjusts the height, it also adjusts the width. So if I come up here and I type in 3.5, currently it's 5.47, but when I hit enter, the width now goes down to 5.17. And if you're like, well, I'd like to have it separate, where I can just have it, the height, not affecting the width, well, you can come down here and just hover over the top middle resizing handle and click and drag to push it down and it doesn't keep in proportion, these guys are really squished. Let me go ahead and hit undo. But if you don't want to do it freehand style, you want to do it numerically here, 
Then with the task pane open, if it's closed out, just go ahead and click on the expandable dialog box button for the size group. But with it open, you want to come down here and uncheck lock aspect ratio. When you do that, it won't keep it in proportion when you use these spin dials here or type in a number. And well, it's right here as well in the task pane. So either way, up here, down below, it's the same. So if I go ahead and start decreasing the height, they get squished without keeping it in proportion to the width. So I can really squish these guys up. Whoa, they're so under pressure of having fun. And then if you're like, no, nah, I don't like that, and you're trying to get back to the way it was, but you don't remember the exact height, width, and all that because you really messed it up, you probably didn't, but I have. You can come down here and click on the reset button, and it goes exactly back to the way it was because when I hit undo, you can see the scaling height is 86% of its normal height. And now it's going up to almost 100% of the normal height, and it's at 91% of the normal width. So you can mess with percentages there if you like, but I'm going to reset it. And you can do it there, or if this task pane isn't open, let me go ahead and do this. You can come up here on the Format tab, go to the Adjust group, and click on Reset Picture, and go down to Reset Picture and Size. And you can see it's back to 100% of its normal height and width. Let's go ahead and close out of here and talk about movement. So with it selected, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard by going up and going down. And if you hold down the control key and use the up or down arrow key, it moves it in smaller increments, of course, left or right. And you can click and drag and use it with the mouse here to move it around and position it wherever you want on the slide. And if you want to get the exact position numerically and not freehand wise on the slide, like you want it about two inches from the top left hand corner and maybe an inch and a half over from the top left hand corner. So the vertically and horizontal positioning, we can just go ahead and right click on the picture and go to format picture. It opens up the task pane and we want to come over here and click on size and properties. I mean, with it closed, you could have come up here on the format tab and click on its expandable dialog box button and it brings up the size and properties here. In any case, in the size here, go down to where it says position and expand that. And that's what I'm talking about. So the horizontal position from the top left corner is over almost one and a half inches. And then the vertical position is down, you see that right there, just beyond two and a half inches. So you can go ahead and use the spin dial to reposition that just so. And instead of the top left hand corner, what other option do you have? Well, from the center. So from the center here, it's over 1.3 inches. Oh, that's not doing it for me, so let's go back to top left hand corner. Okay, better. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of here. And let's talk about how to duplicate your picture here. And we went over this a little bit, but the shortcuts here in an earlier training video, you can, of course, right click on it. And if you right click and move your mouse at the same time, you can copy it here. So you got two now. Let me hit the delete key. You can also hold the mouse still and then right click. And you can copy or control C and then control V as in Victor to paste it or right click without moving the mouse. Right click. And you can also go ahead and paste it again. So we've got quite a few. Let me hit delete, click, and hit delete. You can also hold down the control key, and you get the plus sign next to the pointer. So when you click and drag, it moves the copy of the picture that we clicked on. And go ahead and let go of the mouse and let go of the control key. And then let's go ahead and delete that. And then finally, with it selected, do control D as in duplicate, the letter D, and that works as well. You can go ahead and resize that down and Go, whoa, picture in picture. Let's go ahead and delete that. And next, I want to show you how you can remove the background or part of the picture by coming up here. Let's click on the Format tab. Go to the Adjust group. And there's Remove Background. Click on it. And everything that's in pink, when you click on Keep Changes, is going to be discarded. So what you see that's showing is what's going to be kept. So Keep Changes and ah. Let's go ahead and go back to remove background again. And what you can do is you can go ahead and click that inner box and pull it out more. And the more that you pull it out to the edges here, the more it's going to reveal for you to keep. Or if that's not good enough because you want to get his arm in there and his shirt, then come up here on the background removal and you can refine it by marking the areas that you want to keep. Click on that. You get a little pointer, a pin. You can go ahead and click and drag on a shirt, and it pulls in part of his shirt. So click and drag on that shirt to pull that in. All we need there. I want to keep his arm. 
and you can just keep doing that, making it longer. In any case, after you pulled in everything that you need or marked to be kept, and you're like, oh, I made a mistake here, well, then you can go ahead and click on Delete Mark and click on the marks that you want deleted. Now, if you want to remove extra areas, then click on Mark Areas to Remove and go ahead and mark them like a shirt. In any case, I'm not going to keep any of this, but if you do keep it, it's like, ooh, pretty intense. If you got rid of their shirts here and stuff, you just had their faces, you could say, okay, guess this picture. Are they on a roller coaster ride or playing an intense game? Wah! That'd be pretty cool. In any case, you can always go back to remove background and discard all the changes. Okay, next, if you've got like 100 slides and a picture on every slide, the size of your file is going to be huge. And when it comes to emailing that, well, if you're in the thousands of megabytes, that could take a while. So what you can do is you can compress the pictures to make the pictures the size of them smaller. And so when you reduce the size of the amount of space it takes on your computer, with all the pictures in your PowerPoint presentation, then, of course, you're going to reduce the size of your file. So to reduce or shrink or compress the pictures, come up here on the Format tab in the Adjust group, and it's right there. Click on Compress. Now the compression options is you can apply it only to this picture, but if you uncheck that, it'll apply to all the pictures throughout your entire presentation. And so the resolution, you can say use default, or if you want it to be high quality, that's 220 pixels per inch. It's excellent quality for printers. Or if you use email here, yeah, you can email it, but you may have pictures that look grainy. I'll go with default and click okie dokie. Before I do that, you can delete cropped areas of the picture to be able to reduce the size of your file, your PowerPoint presentation file. And what that means is you recall when we cropped part of our picture here that we could go back and say, okay, let me go ahead and bring it back to the way it was. If you go ahead and delete the cropped area of the pictures, it's going to be permanent. And so you won't be able to go back and undo that. So maybe you don't want to. It's up to you. In any case, go ahead and click okie dokie. And well, depending upon how many pictures you have in your presentation, it may take a few seconds, but that was fast. And it looks like the picture doesn't look grainy. So hey, works for me. And then finally, how about some picture styles? So come back up here on the Format tab to the Picture Styles group, and you got some preset options that when you hover over it, that's the reflected rounded rectangle. Click on it, and it's reflected, and it's rounded. Click off. Well, let me click off over here so you can see it. And select it again to bring up the Related Contextual Format tab. Click on More, and just hover over it to get some ideas. Or if you don't like any of that, click off. You're like, oh, how do I go back to normal? Well, there is no normal option here. So instead, go to the Adjust group and then click on the Reset Picture to reset picture and size, and we're back to where we started. So you can use the picture styles, or you can do a little bit of variation of your own, like the picture border could be pink accent to lighter 40%. Select that, and you can just, well, let me click off, barely see it. So if you want to make it thicker, then click on the border down to something weightier, like 6 point. Okay, now it's really thick. And if you want something more, like I said, when you go down and you see something that says more, that opens up the task pane over to the right. And there's the width. And you can go ahead and type in up to 1,584 points. That's a lot of points. We talked about that earlier. But this is in regards to pictures and shapes and objects. So you can go ahead and mess with that. Change the color here. Set the transparency. In any case, there you go. Let's close out of that. And then there's picture effects. Well, if you want some shadow, won't make a difference here really because I got a dark background. Reflection, something that glows. Oh, purple. That looks good, kind of. I'll go with it. Select it again. And then you've got other effects where you can rotate it and you can hover over it. And if you don't like any of those options, you want more options, go down to 3D rotation options. And then you can just really go crazy by either typing in a number. We're going ahead and flipping out here, and let's reset. And it goes back to the way it was before we started rotating it. It's not the same reset as the other option that we had. Up, well, let me select it up here in the adjust group where it reset the size and the picture, just the rotation, because I still get the border, the pink border, and that glow there. So we can go ahead and click off of that, select the picture again, and we're in the home stretch to format, and then the picture layout. So if you want to go ahead and lay that out 
And you can select more than one picture. I just have one picture here. So if you had more than one, you'd have the main picture and three other pictures there. But since this is all I've got to work with, let me select hexagon cluster. So one picture and some text. Whoa. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.